paying their hundred uh, percent towards their duty. I would like to salute all the frontline workers who have served for the nation, who have given their hundred percent towards the national development. Especially, I recommend that the the duty and the the work done by the teachers in this pandemic situation is really commendable. Initially, they have no idea how to teach students. All students are at their home only. The teachers are also at their home. All offices, everything closed. But thanks to the government, thanks to the local management, and all other environment, they provide us the facility of teaching all the students online. So, ACS2 family under the supervision of our respected principal Sri D. Venkana. All the team members, all the teachers are taking care of the education and all around development of the students in various areas. Teaching itself it was a little uh, tough decision but we have done that in the previous year. We have completed the syllabus as well as the all other activities also. This year also we have started from the April onwards and now we have a continuation with that we are giving them all kind of all subject teaching along with the online co-curricular activities also. So in this situation they are doing lot of hard work almost more than 10 to 12 hours all the teachers and the students are busy with the online work. So it is really commendable and from the ACS2 family I can assure that we can we are providing you all essential education and we will try to accomplish the task this year also or we will recover it from soon. The uh, the health workers and our pharmacists, I would like to congratulate them. They are doing their work continuously with hard dedication and I can proudly say over 52 crore people of India got vaccination or first dose. So it's really an uh, appreciable task and, very, and the process is going on rapidly. Regarding the NEP and all other the curriculum prescribed by CBSE, we are following it and we are committed to accomplish our task. And in this auspicious day, our duty is to salute the nest, our freedom fighters. We should not forget their sacrifice. Many of them are known and many of them are unknown also. I salute each and every freedom fighters because of their efforts and their, their actions we could achieve our freedom. Now we all are living in a freedom country, our own nation under one constitution and we all are developing ourselves that is only because of them. Their words fill the blood in the all public of India and they are united together and they fought with the British government, British empowerment and successfully we got on 15th August 1947. So on this day, I once again I would like to congratulate you all celebrating Independence Day on the day and we are taking oath that we will serve for nation, we will do good for nation. That is not enough. My personal request to all of you that each and every day we should, with our all actions, with our all tasks, we should think for our nation. When America says, America first, we should also say with proud that any cost, India first. Why not India first? I request all the 
uh, uh, all the IITNs and doctors don't run behind the Western countries, don't run behind the money. Work for the nation. This is your country. You born on that and you should be proud of that. With these words, I, I think that all our citizens will take all the actions, will do all the work for our country, India. Thank you everyone. Jai Hind! Mataram Mataram Mataram